Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Tom Muldoon. I'm Grand Knight of uh, Knights of Columbus Council 6579, Dundas and West Hamilton. And I would like to welcome everybody here in attendance and those who are streaming with us today. Through the Silver Rose program, we honor not only Our Lady of Guadalupe and express the unity of the Knights of Columbus, but we also reaffirm our dedication to the sanctity of human life. 
It is to the Blessed Mother that we turn in prayer as we work to end the culture of death that grips our society. As we think in terms of one life, one rose, it is most appropriate that we turn to Our Lady of Guadalupe, who made known her will through uh, Juan Diego and the miracle of the roses. This is from the Supreme Knight, Carl Anderson. Early on a cold Saturday morning, December 9th, 1531, Juan Diego, baptized into the faith as an adult in 1523, was on his way to assist at mass. Suddenly he heard beautiful music and a woman's voice calling to him from the top of Topekan Hill. At the top, he saw a beautiful woman who revealed that she was the Blessed Virgin Mary. She instructed him to visit the bishop to tell him that the temple should be built in her honor at the base of the hill. Juan Diego immediately went to the bishop, who received him kindly but was reluctant to believe his story. Juan Diego returned to the hill to report his failure. The lady told him to return to the bishop, repeating the request. On Sunday, December the 10th, Juan Diego returned to the bishop who, after many questions, said he needed a sign before believing that it was, it was really Our Lady who had appeared. Juan Diego relayed the message to the lady who told him to come back on the next day and she would fulfill his request. On Monday, December the 11th, however, the uncle of Juan Diego became gravely ill so he was unable to return. After a day of fruitlessly searching for someone to help his uncle, Juan Diego told him that he would bring a priest the next morning so his uncle could make confession and die in peace. Very early Tuesday morning, rushing to find a priest, he passed the Pika Hill, thinking it would better not to let the lady interrupt his error of mercy. He decided to go after the side of the hill, but the lady came down the hill to meet him. After listening to his explanation for not keeping the appointment, she told him that the uncle would not die of the sickness and that he was healthy. That same morning, the lady appeared to his uncle and cured him. Juan Diego was greatly relieved. The lady told him to go to the top of the hill and gather the flowers he would find there. Upon arrival at the top, he found in the frozen earth a miraculous garden of roses not native to that area. He gathered some of them and brought them to the lady, who arranged them in a cloak. She told him to take them to the bishop as the sign he had requested. When Juan Diego arrived in front of the bishop, he opened his cloak, and the roses fell to the floor. At that moment, they both discovered something even more wondrous. A remarkable portrait of Our Lady was imprinted on the coarse fabric of the cloak. In 1946, Pope Pius XII declared Our Lady Guadalupe patroness of the Americas. And in 1990, St. John Paul II beautified Juan Diego. On July 31st, 2002, the late Holy Father visited Mexico and declared sainthood of blessed Juan Diego. Today, the Feast of Day of St. Juan Diego is December the 9th. The Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe is celebrated on December the 12th, and the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe is still celebrated and visited by pilgrims year-round. Please stand.
O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, Lord make, make haste, haste to, help to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. As Catholics, we are called to be a people of life and a people for life. The challenge before us is to teach the world that the life of each human being, unique and unrepeatable, begins at the moment of conception and ends by natural death. To accomplish this, we must turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, through whom the Word was made flesh. Through Mary, under her title of Our Lady of Guadalupe, patroness of, of the Americas, we seek the grace and strength to bear witness to reality that every human life is sacred, a gift from God. We take this opportunity to commend ourselves to our spirit, seeking the strength to proclaim the gospel of life in a season and out of season until respect for the sanctity, sanctity of human life is restored throughout the world. Please kneel. <clears throat> Together now we will say the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. First glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. Let us bless the fruit of Mary's womb, Jesus raised from the dead. Let us praise his life of loving obedience to the Father. Let us praise his promise to be with us always. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Let's pray for the sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Let us bless the fruit of Mary's womb. Let us ascend it into heaven, for Jesus ascended into heaven. Let us bless his name above every other name. Let us acclaim his kingship. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. The third glorious mystery, the descendant of the Holy Spirit. Let us bless the fruit of Mary's womb, Jesus who with the Father sent the Holy Spirit to the church. Let us bless the Holy Spirit who animates and guides the church as he animated and guided Mary. 
Let us bless the same spirit communicating divine life to all of us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the beginning is now. Fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Let us bless the fruit of Mary's womb, Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit assumed her into Heaven. Let us bless Mary at the close of her saintly life. Let us bless Mary with Elizabeth's word, Blessed are you among women. Our Father, who art in Heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother, uh, sorry. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary as Queen. Let us bless the fruit of Mary's womb, Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit crowned her queen. Let us bless Mary acclaimed by all the angels and saints. Let us bless Mary in union with all the generations that call her blessed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Hail Holy, Holy Queen, Queen Mother, Mother of, of Mercy, mercy our, our life, our sweetness, and, and our hope. To thee, to these we do cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we do send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God that we, we may, may be made be worthy, worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only, only begotten Son, by his life, death, death and, and resurrection, has purchased, purchased for us the rewards of eternal, eternal life, grant, grant we beseech, we beseech thee, thee 
that we who meditate on these mysteries of the, Holy the most Rosary, holy rosary of the blessed virgin mary may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same christ our lord amen amen Liturgy of the Word, a reading from the first letter to St. Paul to the Corinthians. Do you not know that runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we have an imperishable one. Thus I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were a shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it for fear that after preach to others, I myself should be disqualified. The Lord be with you. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. 
And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and would be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called, was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we know the story, so ably told at the outset of this, this liturgy. Juan Diego's gift of roses results in the miraculous image that we have come to know as Our Lady of Guadalupe. Her appearance prompted a spiritual movement across Mexico and indeed beyond into Central America that saw what was then a very small Catholic community within a pagan land grow exponentially, such that in the space of a generation, almost the whole population had been evangelized, come to Christ, been baptized, and are then a Christian community nurtured by word and sacrament. It started with roses. Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, is often referred to as the rose. We can think of the beautiful Christmas hymn, Lo, how a rose e'er blooming, has been part of the repertoire of carols sung by the faithful year upon year. Isaiah twas foretold it, the rose I have in mind, with Mary we behold it, the Virgin Mother kind. St. John Henry Newman said of Mary, who is regarded in church tradition as the Rosa Mystica, she is the queen of spiritual flowers and therefore is called the rose, for the rose is called of all the flowers, the most beautiful. Mary is the rose. The rose has more recently become a symbol of life. Little rose stickers, they're distributed by the Knights of Columbus. I have one on my jacket. They're to be worn as a support for the dignity of life, to push back against our current culture of death. A symbol of hope for a better future set against the despairing outlook of so many who have resigned themselves to seeing their world in decline and to live, therefore, lives of selfish self-concern, as if the only life that mattered is their own. You know, it's an interesting transition. The rose within the secular world is a sign of romantic love. By our reclaiming it, it becomes a symbol of a greater love, the love of life itself. And we can see how this again relates back to Our Lady, to the Blessed Virgin, in the love she bore for the one she bore and to whom she gave birth so as to birth hope for humanity. In that manger bed lay not simply a child who was God incarnate, as amazing as that was, but the very source of all life, who took flesh. As the church teaches, took Mary's flesh, and so was able to give life through his life and ministry, human expression to love and to life as it ought to be lived. Jesus, the human face of God who gives divinity, 
who gives divine dignity to human life. What will this rose displayed here, this rose of silver, bring forth? You know, the rose reminds us of Mary, the mother of God. It recalls us to our recent efforts to bring the love of life back into the lives of people so that they may cherish it every bit as much as Mary cherished the child in her womb. Yet I'll point out to the, you the fact that it's made of silver. That's the currency of betrayal. The Seventy pieces come to mind. The wages of Judas. Have we as a church failed? Perhaps. We know many have fallen, many have betrayed, many a Catholic sits in a place of power and influence, and rather than forsake their worldly position, defend abortion, advocate for it, see that public monies are put forward in support of it. At the very least, they remain silent on the evil of it all. And if we, in any way, by our silence, by our misplaced support, find ourselves complicit in that betrayal of life, and so have been disobedient to the author of life, Christ, then this is the silver that we offer to have it transformed, transfigured. As with all things, as St. Paul tells us, this can be made by God to work for the good. It starts with roses, but something must come of them. Dare we have faith that we can take this silver rose and make of it a sign and symbol of a hope and love that our society longs to know and feel? Can this be the generation that turns back the bloody tide, returns us to a civilization of authentic love? Can we again bring people to know Mary, the model of faithful discipleship, the loving mother whose love guides us to the greatest love, the love of Christ? Can we as a society, as a church, return to be a community of word and sacrament such that the world grows fearful as the people return, repent, and know what it is to love your life so much that you offer it up as the greatest gift you can make? Like Mary, can we give of our flesh so that Christ is incarnate in this world, that men and women might encounter the author of life? Fall in love again with him who is life itself. Let us pray that it starts with this rose. Amen. Please stand. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, down O mother, mother, upon, upon the vast, vast numbers, numbers of babies, babies not allowed to be born, of the poor, of the poor whose, whose lives are made difficult, difficult, of men and, and women who are victims, victims of brutal, brutal violence, violence, of the elderly, of the elderly and, and the sick killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives, and the courage to bear witness to it presently, in order to build, together with all people of goodwill, the civilization of truth and love, to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life.
be seated. On behalf of Council 6579, we'd like to thank Father Scott Whitfield for his encouraging words and uh, support through this event and many other events. I'll be supporting our council. Thank you, Father. This is Siobhan Kerr, whose music you just heard, a very talented person and inspired us all with her music. Brother Joe Amore, who uh, did the streaming for us. Thank goodness there was a technical person around that knew what they were doing. Brother Paul Kiley, who's our photographer. Uh, looking forward to the better side of me. And a special thanks to the fourth degree Knights for being the honor guard from Father Sean P. O'Sullivan Assembly, 2580 Ancaster. Thank you, brothers. And thanks to all of you whether in person or streaming, for coming to honor Our Lady of Guadalupe. We totally thank you for coming. Please stand. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. The Son of God redeem mankind. May he redeem deem you and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. You have received the author of life through Mary. You always rejoice in her loving care. Amen. You have come to pray that the sanctity of human life from the moment of conception until natural death will once again reign in human hearts and enjoy the full protection of law. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe, may you be granted the wisdom, strength, and grace to persevere in this effort. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks. Be to God.
Just to uh, follow up, I just want you to know that the silver rose f uh, from here goes to Ancaster, Burlington, Ottawa, then down through the state starting in Michigan. If you wish to come and uh, view the silver rose, you're more than welcome to. We just ask it that you don't touch it, okay? Thank you very much.
Christmas. Christmas.